what is going on guys Ziz out here back with a, another basketball video another NBA breakdown video whatever you want to call it I've taken a break but now I'm back to talk about the Charlotte Hornets I mean I've been at my job um, late nights um, almost every other night sitting here watching Charlotte Hornets basketball because it's just that entertaining that in the Golden State Warriors but the Golden State Warriors are the best team in the league they're supposed to be as great as they are but Charlotte Hornets with this consistency with Terry Rozier going out there and being the bucket that he is it's fun to watch he's playing like Gary Payton mixed with Allen Iverson I mean he's putting out an and one mixtape right now as we speak because what he's doing with this Charlotte Hornets unit it's impeccable and there's other players in this roster that complement each other so well. Kelly Oubre, a nice acquisition. I can't believe to say it, but he fits very well, better than he has on any other team. Mason Plumley. I know a lot of people have some trash to talk about Mason Plumley, especially from playing 2K with him or whatever that might be. But right now in the current NBA, on the current roster that he's on, Mason Plumley is a dog. And you'll see it in these little clips that I'm showing you guys. They've been on a tear this past week, past month. Um, they're honestly the dark horse in the Eastern Conference for, Conference for me at this moment. It might change come Christmas, uh, the new year, getting close to the playoffs. But as of right now, they are the five seed. And I know you're going to be like, oh, my God, how the hell are they dark horse if they're the five seed? Well, Philly, as well as Atlanta and the Bucks are all below them. And I think that might change as the year progresses because I doubt that the Bucks won't get in back into the top five i doubt that philly and atlanta are gonna somehow miss the playoffs i mean it'd be a big shock but i doubt that will happen but i just want to talk about how amazing this team is as you see caleb martin or i think that's caleb martin hit a lebron sidestep three i can't believe that move still works in the nba it's actually ridiculous but the way that they have this team structured is Terry Rozier can go out there and get a bucket. The game has always been about a bucket. But then they have a complete point guard at, in a LaMelo ball. And about LaMelo ball's game, when he first got into the league, he was doing exactly what I thought he was going to do. But then I kind of saw some things that were like, eh, he dribbles too much. I don't think he's going to, over the course of his career, be that consistent at going to the rim if he doesn't, you know, bulk up and get more physical because you know he's gonna be checked by bigger guards or big forwards because of how tall of a point guard he is they're not gonna just let him abuse any little man but with Lamelo ball the way he's designed his game is almost like a trey young mixed with petty penny hardaway because he has different spots from beyond the arc as you see right now that he can just consistently hit from so if they need to reset a set um, the play breaks down and he's standing out there towards the half court line, you know, a deep hash mark three. He's standing there and he's ready to hit it. Catch and shoot situation. He can lull you to sleep and dribble and hit it. And, you know, his form might be a little funky, but it works. And with this Hornets team, they really are dark horse men. I don't want to be repetitive here, but they, they're really giving me everything I need to see. They've played against some good matchups. You're seeing them against the Wizards right now. They played against the Magic and as they continue to play better teams um the contenders as in the warriors or maybe a nets or bucks we're gonna see how they perform and you know it's all about consistency as i've been saying but with what i'm showing you guys here with what they've been putting on for the beginning of this season miles bridges bag is ridiculous deep ri ridiculously deep and the players that they have on their bench you know these rookies they're going to have fresh legs for the middle of the season, the playoffs, next year. I mean, I like what MJ has been doing with this franchise. We got to give a big round of applause to Mr. MJ the GOAT, all right? The Charlotte Hornets are really here, man. Damn. That's crazy to say. They, they really came back from Bobcats. Wake, wake up, nigga. <laughs> What y'all fucking want? What y'all fucking want?